Princess Anne's tense exchange with Charles over Harry, full-scale row. Princess Anne had a full-scale row with Prince Charles and Princess Diana after the pair failed to make her godmother of Prince Harry, unearthed reports claim. Anne has continued on her relentless country-wide tour, this week stopping in Barnsley. There, she officially opened a new super-sized dog cafe that has seating for 150 people, located on Cannon Hall Farm, a popular tourist attraction with a historic house. The visit was not random and has spent the past few months, COVID-19 restrictions allowing, traveling up and down the country, making official visits and accompanying other members of the royal family on their duties. She has, as a result, built something of a name for herself, often described as the firm's hardest working member. Many have noted that Anne has inherited Prince Philip's, her father, no-nonsense approach to life and work, becoming known for her frank and often at times offhand style including with members of her own family. A tense row is said to have come between her and her brother and then sister-in-law, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, on the birth of their second son, Prince Harry. So enraged was Anne that she refused to attend his christening. According to a 1984 report by the Daily Express, Anne instead went game-shooting with her then-husband Mark Phyllis on their Gatcombe Park estate in Gloucestershire. In a statement after the ceremony at the time, Buckingham Palace said, unfortunately neither of them could make it. They will be arriving in Windsor later in the day. Ashley Walton, the paper's then royal correspondent, wrote that the couple's deliberate absence fueled reports and was angry at being overlooked as godmother for the second time, said to have been hurt when Charles failed to pick her as godmother to Prince William. Mr. Walton wrote, her displeasure grew into a full-scale family row when she learned that her younger brother Andrew was to be godfather to three-month-old Prince Harry, while she was again omitted. The royal family confidently expected Anne and Mark to arrive yesterday for the 11 a.m. ceremony. But as the baby was being baptized, the guns were blazing 100 miles away at Gadcombe Park. He went on to note that Charles' decision to leave his sister off the list of six godparents also annoyed Philip. Mr. Walton added, there were rumors that Charles and his father were not on speaking terms as a result. It isn't the only time Anne had given Charles and Diana the cold shoulder around the time of a christening. Ingrid Seward, writing in her 1995 book, Prince Edward claimed that the Princess Royal was furious with Diana who failed to attend Zara Tindall's ceremony in 1981. Delving into the complicated relationships between warring members of the family, she wrote, such occasions are a cornerstone of the royal family's routine, an essential part of the theatricality of their brand of monarchy, a moment when the whole family is on parade. It would never have occurred to Edward or any of his family not to turn out for one. Diana however, chose not to attend. She had been telling friends beforehand that she had no intention of going but, rather through a failure of manners or courage, it was not until 48 hours before the actual ceremony that she telephoned Princess Anne to inform her that she would not be there. Her excuse was that she was too busy preparing for the wedding ball that was being held in her honor that night. The tone of Anne's response would have chilled the Arctic. It has been widely reported that Diana did not want to attend the christening because she knew Camilla Parker Bowles would likely be in attendance with her husband Andrew, Zara's godfather and Anne's previous love interest in the 70s. Around the time of the christening, shortly before Diana's wedding, Charles gave Camilla the now famous bracelet inscribed with the initial F and G, the first letters of the nicknames they had for each other.
be in attendance with her husband Andrew, Zara's godfather and Anne's previous love interest in the 70s. Around the time of the christening, shortly before Diana's wedding, Charles gave Camilla the now famous bracelet inscribed with the initial F and G, the first letters of the nicknames they had for each other.